Hello everyone, welcome to another session for ARD question series. Uh, my name is Hansa Nora Sama and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture honors and I've also completed my master's in nematology and horticulture. So for today's topic, I've chosen agriculture census, which is one of the most important uh, topics that you'll have to cover. This session is going to be very informative, so please don't forget to keep your uh, notebook, uh, notebook with, along with you and you can pause and make notes at the same time. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for further notifications. And if you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your friends, whoever is giving the exam. Okay, first and foremost, we need to understand what agriculture census is, okay? So agriculture census, it is a large scale statistical operations for collection of requisite data and derivations of quantitative uh, information, uh, about the structural characteristics of agriculture in the country, okay? And the agriculture census is conducted by the Ministry of Agriculture every five years. So far, there are nine agriculture census which has been conducted in the country and this 2015 and 2016 is, is the 10th of the series, all right? And it was done under Dr. Dilip Singh, who was the Deputy Director General and Agriculture Census Commissioner for 2015 and 2016. Okay, so basically it's conducted in three phases. Okay, so questions might come, uh, direct questions might come from these uh, facts and histories of this agriculture census, right? So please try to remember each of it. Moving on to another slide, I, it's really important to uh, know the definitions of each of these terms. So first and foremost, we need to learn what an operation holding is, okay? So operational holding, it is a land which is used wholly or partly for agriculture production and it is operated as one technical unit by one person alone or with others regard to the title, legal form, size, or location, all right? So what is this technical unit? So technical unit is a unit of land which is under the same management and has the same means of production, such as labor force, machinery, and animals, all right? So there's another term that you'll come across, which is known as the operated area, all right? So what, what is an operated area? An operated area, it includes both cultivated and uncultivated area, provided part of it is put to the agriculture production during the reference period, all right? And a person who has the responsibility for the operation of the agriculture holding is known as the operational holder, right? And these can be divided into uh, three types. The first one is individual. The second one is joint. And the third one is institutional. So individual holders, individual holders can be defined as an agriculture um, operated holders, which include, uh, which is done mostly by a single person or more than one person, but then ha they have to belong from the same household and this can be considered as an individual holders. For the joint holder, it has to be shared uh, jointly or partly between two households and these uh, and they have to be both of them they have to be involved in the technical as well as the economic uh, management so for the third one institutional institutional these are in holders which are usually done by a group of farm or cooperative factories or these are run by the trust or by the these are owned by the government funds right so these are the most important terms that you need to know so moving on to the first question, the first agriculture census was conducted in which year? All right, the options are number A, 1970, number B, 1947, number C, 1990, number D, 1962, and number E, 1981. So I would like to request you all to, if you have any guesses or if you know the answer, please don't forget to comment in the comment section and please let me know. Okay, going to the second question. If a farmer in Haryana has an operational holding of about 2.5 hectare, which class of operational holdings will he come under? So basically, um, operational holdings are divided into five classes. Uh, in this, I have given some the categories as well as the classes, right? So the first 
one is marginal. If it's marginal, then the size of the land should, would, uh, should be less than one hectare. And if it's small, then it should be between one to two hectare. Semi-medium would be from two to four hectare. And medium would be from four to 10 hectares and large would include more than 10 hectares so from this table it's very clear that the answer for this is semi-medium all right all right so question number three which state accounts for the largest number of operational holdings as per agri census 2015-2016 number a karnataka number b maharashtra number c uttar pradesh number d madhya pradesh and number e west bengal so the correct answer for this is Uttar Pradesh. So usually these uh, the censuses they involve a lot of uh, stats and figures. It'll be very hard to remember the exact um, the exact figures and the numbers. But then uh, as you as you keep on reading it again again twice or twice, then uh, it will be more imprinted in your mind and it'll be more easier for you all to remember it. Right. So number question number four: the average size of farm holding was highest in which state in 2015-2016 census? All right. The options are Kerala, number B, Nagaland, number C, Uttar Pradesh, number D, Maharashtra, and number E, Haryana. So the correct answer for this is Nagaland. Nagaland had the highest average size of a farm holding, right? Going to the fifth question. The percentage of female operational landholders in 2015-2016 was A, 7%, B, 24.5%, number C, 51.4% and number D, 13.9%, number E, none of these. So the correct answer for this is number D, which makes about 13.9%. All right, these are for the operational landholders. Remember, they'll be in an operational area as well, okay? So in this uh, slide, I have highlighted some of the important agriculture census. Um, usually at least one or two or three questions might possibly come from these facts right so it's very important so i would like you all to maybe pause the video and take a screenshot of this first and foremost i would like you all to know that uh, as we have financial year uh, period we also have an agriculture year period so uh, for the agriculture year period the agriculture year is from june to july it's like for the financial year is from April to March. So in the same way for agriculture, it's from June to July. So don't get confused. So let's move on to the uh, highlights and the facts. The total number of operational holdings grew from 138 million hectares to 146 million hectares. All right. So Uttar Pradesh, it was a count of the largest number of operational holdings of farmers at about 23.8 million, which was followed by Bihar with 16.4 million and Maharashtra for about 14.7 uh, million, all right? And the highest increase in terms of operational holdings is topped by Madhya Pradesh, which is followed by Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan. Remember, these are the increase when you, the highest increase when you compare the census from 2010 to 11. Moving on, some states, they also show decline in number of operational holdings, right? The sharpest fall was seen in Goa, and the lowest was in Manipur. So in Goa, it was about 28.17%. And the lowest decline was shown in Manipur with about 0.09%. Right? And decline of operated area was 157.4 million hectares from 159.59 million hectares in 2010 to 2011. Right? So there was a decrease in the operated area, whereas there was an increase in the operational holdings. Right? Um, in terms of the operated area, Rajasthan, with about 20.87 million hectares, is at the top followed, which was followed by Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh. Right? The percentage share of female operational holders has increased from 12.79, which was in 2010 and 2010-2011 census, to 13.87 in the year. 
2015-2016. Alright, so moving on to the growth in individual holdings. There was about 5.04%. And in joint holdings, there were about 7.07%. And growth in institutional holdings was about 10.80%. 8%. So moving on to another slide here, the, in this picture, I've just highlighted some of the important facts. So let us just go through all of this together. The first one, um, number of operational land holdings were 146. Okay, and the top nine states are UP, Bihar, Maharashtra, MP, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, West Bengal, right? And these are the ones that we've already discussed and here there is um, a graph which shows the change in marginal there was an increase in number of holdings which makes about 86.21 percent medium to semi-medium was about uh, there is there is a decrease from 14.29 to 13.22 for large holdings we have there was a decrease again from 0 0.71 to 0 0.57, all right? And in this slide, I've shared some of the person's share of different social groups in operated area by holders. The first for SC, scheduled cost is about 8.61%. For scheduled tribe, it's about 11.40%. And for institutional, they make about only 0.97% and others, they were about 79.03%. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you've liked the video, please press the thumbs up button as well as share with your friends who have been giving the exam. So remember this agriculture census is very important. So don't forget to revise it again.